Hi, this is Tomer from Ideas Create Freedom and today I wanted to share with you how a simple thing like a morning ritual can help you change your life, increase your happiness and self-esteem and help you create the freedom you want. If you find yourself stressed all the time, struggling with anxiety and feeling stuck in the same place over and over again, a simple thing like a morning ritual can really help you relieve a lot of that stress, gain back the power into your own hands and shift your life into the course you want it to be. I'm guessing that if you are watching this, you are already familiar with a morning ritual, what it is and what it can do for you. But for those who don't, a morning ritual is something you do every morning, first thing in the morning. It's a couple of things you do for yourself, a time you take for yourself in order to connect deeply with yourself and what you want in life. And basically it's time you take to set up your mind for success, whatever it means for you, happiness, health, freedom, whatever you want. I look at it as a time where, where I can program my mind into whatever I want it to be. Okay, so I know it sounds a little general because it's different and it's individual for each one of us. But in a minute or so, I will show you exactly how I do my morning ritual and how deeply it has impacted my own life. Before I did this, I used to wake up in the morning and of course I was trying to delay it as much as possible because I wasn't much excited to get up and start the day. But the first thought that came to my head was what do I have to do today? And that's a terrible question to ask yourself first thing in the morning and a terrible way to start your day because it immediately puts you in a place of stress, okay? And for me it was, okay, now I have to get up, get the children up, uh, prepare them for school, prepare them food and stuff like that. And immediately afterwards, I need to go to my work. Back then I was working a day job as a software development uh, team manager at a large company. And obviously uh, for many people, it can be a relatively good job, has good money, not a physically demanding job, but I wasn't satisfied. I wasn't um, fulfilled. It, I didn't feel like I'm doing something significant. So generally I was busy at work all day and when I came home at last I had zero energy left for my kids, for my wife and I think a lot of people are having this uh, issue and feeling the same way. So I believe it all started changing for me once I realized that I had to take the time to think and do something about it, okay? I can't just let it continue. And the morning ritual is one of the first seeds that I planted in my mind that really helped me to get unstuck, really relieved a lot of stress and really uh, allowed me to uh, go wherever I wanted to go. So what is a morning ritual? So it's basically taken from Tony Robbins um, a program which I purchased uh, some while ago and it consists of three things. The first one is gratitude, okay? Having a, a appreciation and being grateful for all you have. The second thing is your outcomes, your futures, your goals, okay? And the third thing is incantations, it's basically sentences you say out loud to yourself which enforces your beliefs and things you want for yourself. Like before, today also I'm starting my day with a question. Because questions are great for controlling your focus, but it's an entirely different question. Instead of creating stress, it relieves stress. And I'm asking myself straight thing in the morning, what can I be grateful for today? So focusing on your mind, on the good things you have in life, really allows you to relieve, relieve a lot of the stress you have and really focus your mind on where you want to go. I know that if you are like me, you're feeling stuck in this loop, it's probably 
gonna be hard to be grateful first thing in the morning but you have to realize you have to get proportions that a lot of people are far far more worse than you and you have to actually get in touch with the grateful part inside of you you really have to feel it not just say it we really have to feel it so i'll basically start my day uh, being grateful for my health and being able to do all the stuff i love physically to eat the food i love and then i go out to uh, my family my wife being grateful for my wife my kids my parents my brothers and then i expand the circle as much as i can and just imagining and feeling very very grateful for what i have only after being so grateful i can proceed to one of the best parts in my morning rituals and for me it's creating my future seeing my success imagining my success and achieving my goals that's really what makes my day and i'm basically starting with my long-term 10-year five-year goals really imagining all the stuff and all the the descriptions and all the details inside my um, goals and future and really uh, breaking it down to the middle term and going through until I, I reach the short-term goals my short-term goals even my monthly goals and just seeing myself in a successful state achieving all those those goals this is where i really get really pumped up and excited for the day so for the third part the incantations which is the sentences you say out loud um, it can be a little uh, uncomfortable for uh, shy people like me because you are very aware of your surroundings and it's not very comfortable even you're hearing your own voice and uh, uh, it's, it's a kind of embarrassing but um, this part is important because up until now all you've done it's in your head and when you say it out loud it, you actually create something tangible okay you make it a reality and when you repeat it over and over again consistently the brain accept this as a reality and over time it you it, you become what you say so at first when i started doing this morning ritual it didn't have this full effect on me but i kept on doing that and i kept on improving that and um, lately i've come with a couple of some big improvements that really made a huge uh, impact for me and i want to share it with you so the first one is the effect of motion on my feelings so at, at first I was doing this morning ritual without any activity and I had actually it's funny because I had this back problem which uh, forces me to do uh, very rapid uh, walks uh, first thing in the morning in order to avoid pain so uh, I figured why why won't I do my morning ritual while I'm walking so when i started it i remember describing it to my wife it really amplifies all you feel and think when you're doing a physical activity so this is this was a huge one for me uh, this was this is the first thing i do uh, in the morning i grab my headphones put my shoes on go for a rock and do my morning ritual the second thing was one of the uh, best improvements i've made to do to my morning ritual and it was because i didn't feel comfortable with the incantations and saying them out loud then i figured why won't i record myself doing that and then i'll hear myself in every morning saying that figuring that the mind wouldn't um, wouldn't mind hearing myself instead of actually saying that so this turned out to be uh, fine but not so powerful and then i began i i um, i i said why won't i record my whole morning ritual and just play it over in my uh, headphones while i walk so this turned out to be much more effective and then I added some really inspiring background music to it. 
And that was it. It turned out to be so powerful, the combination of the music and you, uh, you saying all the morning ritual that it was so good that ever since I did that, I'm hearing my morning ritual not once but twice every morning because it's so powerful and just makes me feel good. So the effects of this morning ritual really impacted my life greatly. So instead of, first of all, instead of uh, just waking up stressed and thinking about my to-do list, I'm starting the morning, uh, the morning happy, fulfilled, in a very, very good peak state, which of course translates to me being a better dad for my kids, being a better husband for my wife, being better at my business, and overall a better version of myself wherever I go. Okay? And second, it focuses you, uh, it, it, it makes you focus on your goals, which I have no doubt had a huge, huge impact on the way I do things and achieve things and the progress I've made since I started doing that. And third, it just prepares you for the day. We all have challenges and difficulties and obstacles every day. And if you are in a lousy state, it doesn't allow you to handle this very uh, effectively. Whereas if you start your day very strong in a peak state, you handle those difficulties in a much different, much more effective way. So if you want all those benefits, I strongly encourage you to start this morning ritual and start digging about and search information. I started with Tony Robbins and uh, also Stefan from Project Life Mastery, which helped me a lot. And I will include some resources inside uh, this video below. And that's it. I hope you got some value from this video. And remember, it's not about the knowledge. It's about the actions you take in order to make it happen, this change in your life. So I strongly encourage you to do something about it right now. Um, take a small note, write down in your calendar, uh, assign a uh, time in your calendar where you will go uh, more deeply into this and I will really hope you will get the benefits of this morning ritual and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and just tell me in the comments what you want to see next and I'll do my best to, to do it. Uh, so thank you for your time, I appreciate your time and seeing this video and see you in the next video. Thank you.